in our country, on New York and Washington, D.C. And Mary Ray Soper of Palatine was among those who died that day. She was on the plane that crashed into the Pentagon. Today, her parents spoke with our Ben Bradley, and Ben, they appeared determined to continue the journey that their daughter was on. They've been on that journey for two years, and it does continue today, Alan and Kathy. Last year, it was a memorial in Washington, D.C. This year, the parents of Mary Ray Soper are getting on a plane once again, heading to California. That's where their daughter was headed before terrorists steered her plane into the Pentagon. Marion and Frank Kaminick beginning what has now become an annual practice, a journey to remember their daughter, Mary Ray Soper. Sometimes I like to wake up and find out that it never even happened. But that's not going to happen. This family lost their daughter as she was about to begin a cross-country journey to discover her dream. During her high school days, Soper was a gymnast at Fremd High School. She went on to become a lawyer in the U.S. Navy. But when she heard the gymnastics program at the University of California at Santa Barbara was about to be canceled, she decided to give up her legal career to go back to California to try and re-energize the program. That's why she was on American Airlines Flight 77 on September 11, 2001. I made a conscious decision September 11th on the day it happened not to get angry, not to hate, because it's a negative emotion and it just doesn't uh, solve anything. While the Kaminics say they've come to grips with their grief through counseling, they both have a good bit of frustration directed at President Bush. They feel he's lost focus in the hunt for the killer of their daughter and 2,700 others, and instead of finding Osama bin Laden, the president has found a new enemy in Saddam Hussein. I'm confused with everything that's gone on and why, why we haven't been able to go after bin Laden. That's fine, he wants to go to war to Iraq, but don't use our family as an excuse. It was not Iraq that did this. In the last two years, Mary Ray Soper's family has raised nearly $75,000 to support high school and park district gymnastics programs in the suburbs and across the country. Alan and Kathy, that's been the comfort for many families of September 11th victims, and that is continuing the work and the dreams of those who died in the terrorist attacks. That's a legacy. Two strong people. Yes, you're not kidding. Uh, ben, thanks for sharing their story. Well, our city's going to remember the second anniversary of...